Time to switch the floor beneath. Show yourself. Leave it to me.
This place is dangerous. How did you all... Oh, save it. Hey, you girls, get behind me. Hey, don't go near her. Why not? Can't we talk to her? Yeah, why not? She's a witch too, right? She was really nice to us last time. Why can't we go near her? Last time? What do you mean? When did you talk to the girls? Girls, I'm not a very kind woman. You know I'm a very scary witch, don't you? You should be good little witches and head back to your den before it gets too late. Oh, you're a scary witch? But wait, I wanted to ask you something. That bracelet! That's the reason you've been living such a long time, right? What? What do you mean? Hey, are you talking about that dragon device? It's used to control dragons. Why do you girls know about that? It was written on the book Zephy lent me. Wait, are you talking about my father's book? Yeah, we translated it, but couldn't really understand it. The informant helped us. Uh, it was... Peel, what did it say again? Ugh, seriously? That bracelet controls the dragon inside of a witch's womb. It has the power to slow its growth. It can stop the dragon from killing you. What? The bracelet can do all that? Considering it's able to control grown dragons, it does make sense. Ugh, are you girls done babbling? I had no idea such a thing existed. So this bracelet is the reason you've been able to live so long. Don't be a fool. I don't need this bracelet for that. The reason I've been able to live so long without going mad or having a dragon consume me is because of my hatred towards Shardlada. You seriously think this had nothing to do with the bracelet? You just kept the dragon at bay using sheer will? That's damn right. This bracelet is for something completely different. This was designed to enslave all of the dragons. When the long-awaited star dragon is born, I will force it to take its own life. I will throw Charlotta into the pits of despair. How could you? What? My father created that device to save witches' lives. You're not just gonna sit here and tell me you're gonna manipulate the dragon star to kill itself. Sefi, I see. So the person who did all that research and wrote that book was your father. It was a little incomplete, but it served me well. Don't get me wrong, it was a nice read to have back at the den. It even helped me come up with the perfect revenge. You bastard! Calm down, Zephy! I understand now why my father wrote that book in ancient text. It was so the humans wouldn't use it to kill witches. But who would have thought a witch would be the one to use it that way? Lady, why are you planning something so terrible? Terrible? The very existence of this star is terrible. It's why I decided to burn everything a decade ago. All the dens, over 100 witches. I spared them all from this terrible existence. What terrible existence? I assume she's talking about our own. That's right. The witches don't possess autonomy. They are only vessels born to maintain this star. We're born to suffer! If we aren't hunted, we go mad, or we starve! What kind of life is that? It's a cursed life! There's no way I can let such a tragedy continue! I was able to release the others from this terrible existence by killing them! That's how you decided to help us? You put us through that hell to save us? 
So this dumb witch decided that the Carnival of Death was a better option for us? What an idiot. If you truly wanted to release the witches from their fate, there were other ways. You didn't have to kill them. Stop your stupid lies! If you seriously think that, why didn't you tell me that before? I told you the truth. You didn't listen. You got upset and stormed off. Not long after that, you burned down the den. Anything else I would have said to you would have fallen on deaf ears. What? What else could I have done? If you had become the Dragon Star, you could have spared witches from the curse, at least until your life was over. Me? The Dragon Star? I could have saved my fellow witches. They could have lived a normal life that wasn't cursed. That's right. But what's the point in telling you all of this now? If I had just taken the time to listen, who knows? This is sad. She really wanted to save her friends. I can empathize, but I cannot forgive. <laughs> So now what? You want to use the magical device to kill the Dragon Star? What if I said yes? I figured you wouldn't back down. I have no choice but to settle the score. What? W wait a minute! Surely, you can't fight! Charlotta, lady, you two just had a misunderstanding. Right now that you know what really happened, how can you still fight? You're so naive. This doesn't change the facts. Consider what she's done. Consider the lives she's taken. It's best we end this here. We will avenge every witch who died in vain. <laughs> yeah. You sure got my number. Lady! All right, girls. It's time to stand back. But that lady prayed for Raruta. What? Well, we met her at the grave. We were there visiting Raruta. You saw her at the grave? <sighs> you girls, stay out of this. Why not? I'm just not convinced you're a scary witch. We all know that you're a kind witch. <sighs> Thank you.
So bad.
What the? The surroundings are starting to change. Wh what's going on? That looks nothing like the other dragons. Yeah, that's right. This is the very star itself. Dragon Star Varnir. I must say, I am pleased to know the next candidate for the Dragon Star has arrived. I have examined the vessel. Let us see if she has what it takes to bear the star. Are you kidding me? It's trying to fight us! I feel like I'm in a nightmare. Well, almost. We're definitely outside of reality. This is the spirit world of Varnir. This is happening because Varnir has approved Bendika as a candidate for the next Dragon Star. What? She's going to become the Dragon Star? Didn't you say that only people who possess the desire to become the Dragon Star will be considered? Then why, Bendika? <sighs> Do you know what you're getting into? Depending on the outcome of this battle, you could become the next Dragon Star. There's no turning back now. I have nothing else to say. I'm standing here of my own accord, ready to become the next Dragon Star. That's all there is to it. Interpret it however you wish. I see. Lady! Maybe this is Bendika's way of paying for her transgressions. Yeah, I think it is. There's only one thing for us to do. Right. Let's give it everything we have. We need to protect the next Dragon Star. Are you ready? If you are truly the next Dragon Star, then show me what you are made of! Who's ready to have some fun? My turn.
We're done already? Did we win? Varnier walked away. We're alive. I think we did it. What is this light? Look! Look at Bendika! Leave the rest to me. Everyone watch closely. Behold the sight of the one who will carry the star. It still hasn't hit me. The star was saved. Yeah, I feel so relieved. I never thought I'd come to understand the one behind the Carnival of Death, let alone fight together with her towards a common goal. Although I still don't agree with a lot of it, it's almost as if I understand her now. She was wrong to do what she did, but I can see now that she really sympathized with the other witches. I can finally rid myself of this burden. Do you think Bendika can really do it? Can she be the Dragon Star? Oh, don't be silly. She endured so many excruciating years just for the sake of revenge. Her tenacity is very impressive. I don't think we need to worry about her. <laughs> Good point. Um, Charlie? My, what is it? Will the lady look over us? Like Baruta? Yes, of course. Now that the curse is lifted, I'm sure she's looking forward to seeing how you will live your lives. To be free from living a cruel existence. It's what Bendika truly wanted. Right. But after Bendika reaches the end of her life, Witches will be born under the curse once again. Then the next dragon star will be born, right? What? What happens when she passes away? Don't worry. As long as there's a witch who wants to lift the curse and become the dragon star, it'll be okay. I hope it's that easy. We'll just have to hope for another witch like Bendika to carry the burden. I know, but remember, a new witch won't be born in your lifetime. We're the last witches, huh? At least until Bendika's time as the Dragon Star ends. Exactly. It's even more of a reason to spend time as a family. You all survived. You're gonna make the most of it, right? Yeah! Good answer. I can finally leave in peace. You're... leaving? Don't give me that look. I don't like sappy stuff. I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. But I'll always be connected to you, thanks to the star. Fate brought us together. I won't stop praying for you all to find happiness. Charlotta! Faria, my first and last apprentice. I wasn't able to teach you that much, but my spirit is with you. We will miss you very much. Yeah. How are we gonna get by without the yappy witch giving her unsolicited remarks about everything? Thank you, Charlotta. I'm glad to have met you. Can you not? I said I don't like sappy stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now your wish will come true, right? We'll pray that you can sleep in peace. Yes. Thank you all. We had some fun times together, didn't we? Well... Goodbye, everyone. She's gone. 
she could have played with us just a few more minutes. I I'm not lonely at all. I know Charlie's gonna be watching over us. Yeah, let's make her proud. We'll do our best to enjoy our lives together. When did they become so mature? They'll be the older sisters in no time. When they're ready, then I'm gonna teach them everything Charlotta taught me. <laughs> okay, let's head home. We have a lot of food thanks to the informant. I'll make us a feast. Yay! I can't wait! Karikaro, don't forget about dessert! <laughs> Charlotta and Bendika gave us such a gift. How do I even begin to honor them? Zephy, why is your head in the clouds? We're gonna leave you behind, you know. What? Oh, sorry. Yeah, are you alright? Snap out of it. You're in charge of battles on the way back. Kari Karo, is that necessary? Zephy's tired too. I shouldn't think so hard about it. I know these days of peace are precious. For my sake and the sake of the ones I care about, I'm going to cherish every moment. It's what they would want, and it's my responsibility to make the most of it. Come on, Zephy! Hurry up! Okay. Let's go home. Joy. 